in this video I'm going to show you guys or uh, answer one question I get about why do my miters look bad or why do my miters suck some people have told me well what I found I'm going to show you with some baseboard moldings but what I found the reason when I first started why my miters weren't lining up is really basic stuff now this saw right here is zeroed here and it's zeroed out on the bevel so Right here is a perfect zero degree cut. This Usually the problem is not with the saw. And you can check that really easily if the problem is with the saw. What you'll do is you'll just make two 45 degree cuts, a miter to connect, and then you'll look at those. Now when you do this test to make sure your saw is calibrated, what you'll wanna do, the most important thing, this is where I see people mess up the most and when I, go into houses and I look at the base molding installed it's usually this problem that I'm going to show you either let's pretend like this piece is a big 12 foot piece here's one of two things that can happen it's hanging off the edge over there and it's tilted up like this see how it's not completely on the base of the saw that will happen a lot especially when you're cutting long pieces so if you have any material supports out to the side you need to make sure those are level with the base of this saw. So again, it's gonna be when something is tilted up like that, it could be ever so slightly like this. It's still, still gonna mess up your miter. You need it to be all the way down like that. The other problem, I'll pull it back a little bit, is that it's not all the way against the fence. See how that is kind of like not pushed up all the way right there? It's got this gap behind it that will make a really bad miter when you go to connect your miters. And then the worst part is both <laughs> when it's like tilted up and not. It sounds really basic, but trust me, that's the biggest problem I've seen with miters is just how you hold it on the saw. So if, if your um, fence is tightened, you wanna make sure your fence is tightened up. This one's tightened. I'm gonna go ahead and make this 45 degree miter here or 45 degree cut on both sides and then we'll put them together and we'll see how this saw is calibrated right out of the box. I haven't even messed with it at all. So we'll go ahead and make these two cuts. And since I'm doing just a sample, I'm just gonna flip it over so I don't have to move the saw. Then I'll just split this down the line and in theory we should have a perfect 90 degree miter so let's let's just look at how that looks yeah that's a good good miter right there totally acceptable i mean that's a nice miter right there okay so with the if if you got to this point and your miters are good on your saw. Let's say your saw cuts good. You, you're holding it on the base of the saw. It's not leaning off. It's not leaning off the fence. You're doing everything right here and your miters still not looking good. Probably what's the problem is, it could be, it could really be a few things, but this will be the second biggest problem. If it's not one of these two things with you, operator error, then you need to buy one of these. This is an angle finder. Now you guys have seen me use, let me see if I have it in here, this digital angle finder. And this works great too. So either one of these you can get. I recommend just having both of them on hand. I will, I think this Thursday, I'm gonna use this in action on the job site in a video. But this is just a good introduction to the angle finder. These right here are probably the reasons your miters aren't coming out good. Get one of these and then also make sure that you're all the way against the fence of the saw and all the way down on the base. If you do those two things, I have confidence that your miters will come out perfect. So remember, hold your materials on there proper against the fence, against the base, and then find your miters with an angle finder. That's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you learned something and I'll see you next time. Take care.